Ah, it's late. I hope Dr. Osterwitz is still working. His office should be nearby. Now, when you say nearby, what do you mean exactly? Also, I don't like that this place is called Bleakmoor. I feel like my character should have his address. Um, is that meaningful or did they just reverse the image? They just reversed the image. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, they needed an image for the other side of the uh, model. What is this? Oh. Well, I desperately want to play this game. Are you putting statues there to open something? And what's inside there? Is there anything inside there? Anyway, let's sort of look around and see if we can find some sort of an idol to put on there. And if not, I'm not going to worry about it. This isn't a game about searching for idols, after all. Or wait, maybe it is. Ooh. That is a lot of electricity. Some might say that box has too much electricity in it. I mean, I probably wouldn't. It's weird. It's giving me the interact button, but... Oh, okay. So I can try the door, but then find out it's locked. You know, no vacancy is what you put on a hotel. And I know that is technically a hotel, but that does not look like a hotel. This has to be the least popular fair in Massachusetts. Where's everyone gone? Inside for, well, let's face it, a bang festival. Oh, here we go. It's one of the dolls. Ew. Okay. That was unpleasant. As was that. Doors locked. I mean, surprising no one, but... So they had a festival. They filled it with circus stuff and clowns and whatnot. But nobody came. Hmm. Well, at least this isn't covered with blood. Can't take it, huh? Alright. Nope. Seriously, where's this guy's office? Better not be up there. Hey, it's another uh, clown. That looks like it's not going to be a bunch of different clowns. Going to be the same clown over and over again, which is a bit of a disappointment. There we go. Found his office. Which I will go to after I put down these clowns. Wait. Oh, I only have clowns. There's the office. Yikes. Looks even more dodgy than I thought. Yeah, it's not a fantastic thing you're taking part in here, buddy. That looks like an interesting tradition, and a fire hazard. Uh-huh. You don't know they actually light those ones. They might just be in storage. Let's go put the, uh, clowns down, then we'll get on with this. So you think there were actually seven clowns hiding in this map? We are supposed to find all of them to unlock oh, a good wow. ending? A payphone. Scarlet Carnival. Oh, this is set in June. Huh. 
Family games. Uh oh. Well, that's upsetting. I wish the uh, clowns had slightly more glow or pep to them. Probably shouldn't have been that scared by a cat, should I? Yay! Some secrets can only be discovered during the later stages of the game. Oh! So you're saying all of the clowns might not be here. And we're going to be back out on the street at some point, and I'm armed with more clowns. Okay. I'll just, from now on, make a note of where we find clowns. And if we find all of them, I'll put together a guide. The odds of me finding all of them are not great. I am not a uh, expert trophy chaser. That said, I mean, I make guides, but that's not the same thing. I'm decent at making guides when I find stuff, but it usually just stumble upon finding stuff. All right, let's do it. All right, Dr. A. Guess he's already gone for the day. Hmm. I'll try to call him. So I go into my inventory. No, no! Ugh, fucking battery died. Okay, no judgment. I think I see a few of Austin's yeah. flyers over there. Unfortunately, there's no handle on the gate, so I can't get in. So I have to find a handle, go there, get the flyer, call him on the payphone. And since they don't have any coins, it has to be a collect call. Is that a, still a thing, collect calls? Oh. If I had his number, then I could use the payphone I passed by earlier. Okay, you know, that's 100% the same doctor from uh, Lust for Darkness. Lust for Dark. Lust from Beyond Scarlet, just FYI. Like, that's totes the same guy. Yay! Yeah, at least I opened a shortcut to make this a little easier. Little being the operative term. This is still going to be a thing. So if you were the handle to a door, where would you be? With the clown statues? No, definitely not. So maybe the thing that's in there will be in there later in the game? Hmm. It was foolish of me to look for it this way. But I did it anyway. And the worst part is, I don't even have a flashlight because my phone's dead. A sane or, you know, at least not self-destructive person. Um, excuse me, I need a little help. Aww. It's an emergency. You naive fool. Who do you think is coming to help you? Nobody. Nice car, though. Why all of these ticket taker booths? There's like more than one of them. I find that strange. The thing I'm looking for will glint and pulse, right? Like the uh, items I was looking for in the... Uh... Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, like the items I was looking for in the antique store did, right? Alright. Where is everybody? Really good question. Hello? Okay. Oh good, a creepy dark alley. Oh no, it's blocked off. 
Finding it weirdly Police, satisfying too. Well, <laughs> I tried. Aww. I'm enjoying his attempts to get someone's attention. They were doomed to failure, of course. Got some free pizza out here for you. Keep looking, Hoguru. You'll find it. Or will you? How many different ones of these are there? Oh, he stopped saying things. Well, at least I found the payphone. I remember where it news? is this time. The phone is working. Bad news, I don't have Austerlitz's phone number. Even worse news, I don't have a coin to make a call. In my car, wow. I should have that one coin. The event will be used for renovation of Bleakmore City Theater. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Putting out the candles means you're in on the celebrations. Some sort of a disturbing monster orgy, we have to assume. Based on everything we know about this game and its world. Dude. Have some chill, okay? Maybe it's in the carnival area? You know, with the carousel and whatnot? Ah, I've given up on knocking on doors. I'm a little sad about that. I was enjoying his plaintive knocking and attempts to come up with narratives. Oh! Really? I can't use that to lever my way through? No? Okay. Later in the game, there's probably some sort of a small combat system. I think I clubbed people in the, uh... I think I got into fights with cultists in Lust for Darkness Scarlet. Lust for Beyond, from Beyond Scarlet. Keep forgetting the name. Oh. No. Okay, I mistook this for a carousel when I was walking by earlier. Obviously, it's just a rotunda. I'm kidding. Rotunda's a round area, not a... Well, that is weird. Uh, thing. It's a kiosk. Seriously, where's the handle for this door? I think I've searched the entire map at this point. Whatever the developers thought they were doing, they've made a mistake. Yep, we've now searched the entire map. Because we're back at the Bleakmore City of Dreams nonsense. And all I found was a, a pipe I can't use. It's not my car? Oh, no, this is my car. Seriously? Dude, what is wrong with you if this is your car? Wait, I was told that in my car there was a coin. Ah, oh, there it is. This is Hudson's next order. Well, this is about to be the most expensive call of my life. I don't know that that would work. You know that, like, uh, phone machines. I'm looking for it. Uh, you know that, like, they're weighted. So you can't just use a slug. You have to use the, the something the same dimensions as a quarter. Weight and general size. Also, apparently phone calls in this town are only one quarter. That's a dream. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so right before they went out. Stopped existing. Uh, mach phone machines or phone booths or public phones started costing more than 25 cents which was insane to me like that's the biggest denomination of coin you have before dollar coins of course 
they aren't going to charge a dollar for a call but like the fact that you can't get the a fo one phone call with the largest denomination you can find that seemed a little cuckoo so I've got the coin I need his flyers on the other side of there But I don't have anything for my inventory I can use. Yeah, I know. I'd say this is not good game design, but that's self-evident. Maybe the dog is trying to tell me something? use the vernacular that'd be one hell of a dog I actually have no idea where the dog is wait is that that no that's not the flyer it's all the same flyer though oh Okay. Christopher. Damn. Missing dude. Okay. So is that the uh, main character from... Uh... Lust for Darkness Scarlet. Again, I do like the manually openable gates like that. Can I go into other cars' trunks? I definitely can't, can I? Okay. What have we here? Still nothing, huh? I just felt like this was the most notable place. But obviously I was a fool for thinking that. Seeing as there's nothing special around here. Also, if we're going by the flyers, the things you're supposed to interact with or can interact with do not glint or flash. So thanks for that, game. I guess it was naive of me to think that a blinking light was their way of telling me this is a place you need to investigate. But that's what I thought. And again, if they were thinking about the game a little more clearly, they probably would have realized that a blinking light would be a great way to let players know where they were supposed to go. Again, why can't I take that club? This town is so unbelievably creepy. What does that note say? Keys around somewhere if you can't see it, or worse, you can't even get in, then you're too drunk to go in anyway. Some sad looking technicians came to fix the phone earlier. The key is around somewhere. Hmm, maybe I could use that phone. I'm not too drunk to find that key, I think. So I'm supposed to uh, throw this at that. Sorry. Hey, everybody. <coughs> God, what a mess. It looks like my storage room. Sorry to break into your bar like this, but, you know. Science. Oh, no. 
A demonic symbol smeared on the wall in something. It doesn't even work. Whatever the technicians did, they did it wrong. Hopefully the handle's in here somewhere. So the blinking white light was supposed to draw your attention to it. I just hadn't looked at the sign. That one's on me, everybody. As we knew it would be. Clean! So many cleans. Alright, wait a second. Alright, let's go find that switch, shall we? Handle? Or whatever it is. Hello? This is a weird place to put this thing. And that's right, I am searching every nook and uh, cranny for more cleans. The, uh... Finding all of the collectibles in Scarlet was vitally important, so... Foiled. Oh. screwdriver. Might be useful. Yeah. Nothing else up here? And nothing spooky. What the What happened? Oh. Hi. What's your deal, Stilt Walker? Is this your bar? Are you pissed at me coming into it? That would be understandable. I'd say good, but I do not feel good about that. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of your situation, pupper. Take that back. Okay, the stilt walker and his retinue. Went walking by. That's, um, something else. Just making sure there's no clowns back here. A night flamingo club. That's weird. Okay. Yep, looks like we are clown free. In 23. This is not set in 2023. No, but Maybe someday it will be. What does that mean? Why would they ever change what year a game was set? Did that say on the wall there? Oh, the Eden Theater. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, I'm going to go on a limb and guess that that's where the uh, crimson was set. Although, probably not, because I don't remember him saying that he drove out into the middle of nowhere just for his sexual rendezvous with that lady. That was the plot of it. He got kidnapped. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so there's nine. Hmm. Alright, let's go make a phone call. And successfully complete this chapter of the game. This was an old chapter of the game. This is supposed to take five minutes and you're just inept. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. I appreciate the info. Here we go. Come on, somebody pick up. That was Fucking not his number. Worth a fortune. Dr. Charles Austerlitz speaking. I don't trust uh, this guy. Hello. And uh, not just because he's a German. Today, but yeah, I was late because I got stuck in traffic jams, then my phone died. My name is, uh... Victor Holloway, of course. I'll be in my study in 20 minutes. Oh, um... Actually, it's pretty late, and I'm tired after the trip. I I plan to get a room in town, uh, stop by your office in the morning, Aww. if that works for you. Nonsense. Please come by tonight. I would like to start therapy immediately. Really? Uh, is it really that urgent that I can't wait till So morning? sinister. No danger or anything. I'm all booked up tomorrow, so you'll need to come by now. I'm very interested in meeting with learning more about your situation. Uh -oh. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to cause trouble. Maybe we should just reschedule for another time in the next few days. Oh, wonderful. I just found a slot for tomorrow. I don't know how I could have missed it. He's yes, so desperate. Will work. Be here at 7 a.m. sharp, all right? There's a fair in town. I, I hope I can find a room to stay in. If not, I'm going home. Mr. Victor, it's your lucky day. I had a room for He's so desperate! But he felt unwell and had to cancel at the last minute. You can spend the night there. Room is already paid for. Well, that's an incredible coincidence. It certainly is. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Oh no. Now, something good will come out of Mr. Gregory's stomach ache. Hmm. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Yes, of course. Oh, and please mention my last name at the hotel desk. Is there anything else you'd like to know before our meeting in the morning? Uh-oh. Could you tell me what's happening in the town? A special night, Mr. Holloway. It's the summer solstice. Oh, June twentieth. The people of Bleak yeah. Moor revel in this celebration. It's an important tradition here, with historic roots dating as far back as the Roaring Twenties. Our little town brims with joyful singing and dancing during the summer solstice. I don't hear, Some hear any of that. Are probably blindly drunk and dead to the world already. I've never heard of such customs. I'd like to know more about Bleak Moor. What are you talking about? More, Summer solstice festivals are completely Holloway. normal. But feel free to look around and experience what our solstice celebration entails. Do you think we can solve my problems? It all depends on how far you're willing to go oh, no. and face the issues. The path of purification is one we must walk together. Path of purification. What do you mean by that? Oh, never mind. Please forgive me. I tend to speak without a filter at times. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm good. I think everything's clear. In that case, I hope you dream well, despite the solstice festivities. No, I'll walk a walk. If those dreams should become unpleasant, then call me right away. No matter the hour, I will be here, Mr. Victor. Mr. Holloway. See you later, then. It's called Hotel Desire. 
that's weird. I'm not the only one who thinks that's weird, right? Why the giant open sign when you're not in fact open? Oh, golly. That was on ominous. Because they are your pain. Oh, well. Tell me more. Oh, good. We're here. That's a picture of Dr. Huh. Austerlitz. I wonder what else I don't know about him. Kind of makes it look like he owns the hotel. Which is actually very suspicious. Hey, the drawer works. Nice. It's a big change from last time. Tell me more. How can I help you, sir? What's wrong with your eye, buddy? I'm here on behalf of Dr. Austerlitz. He said there was a room ready for me. Oh, right. You must be Mr. Victor Holloway. Please forgive me. Here's your key. You'll be in room 207. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you. Thank Good you. Night. What's going on with that candy dish? Unfortunately, our lighting system is on a fritz, so we have to use more traditional methods for now. Oh, no. With you. An oil lamp. Huh. You think a better invention would exist? Something from the last century, at least. Well, there are flashlights. Oh, you don't say. So creepy. Deep head down to light the lamp. Well, that is handy to have. Am I making double sure there's no uh, clowns around? That's exactly what I'm doing. I saw a phone downstairs. Before I go to sleep, I should call Lily. Yeah, you're right. I, I did not Lily. see the phone. She must be worried sick. But I don't have any coins left. Hopefully she takes the news well. Collect call. Is that the same number? Hello, is this the dry cleaners? Hilarious. No? No, well, that's too bad, because I'm having some dirty thoughts. Victor, you jerk! I was so worried about waka you! Waka waka! Tell me what's going on! Is that another clown? Alright. I couldn't meet with the doctor tonight. We had to reschedule for tomorrow morning. What happened? No, oh, never mind. I just want you to still think of me as a capable man. Aww. Or at least one that remembers to charge his phone before he drives out of town. Where are you now? It says hotel at the door, but inside it looks like a dust museum run by cockroaches. Aww. People love it. The whole place is booked, but the good doctor got me a room. That's nice of him. How do you like the town? It's fantastic. Unbelievably Best creepy. crowds in the streets giving out high fives and beer. And there's a ton of beautiful half-naked ladies on stilts all over me. Oh, it was a lady. Doctor, I've been with you long enough to know that when you try to joke around like this, that means you're scared of something. That's fair. What's really happening? If I tell you what's happened, it doesn't seem like anything really, but something's off. Bleakmore gives me the creeps. As well it should. You're not there for the holiday. Just do what you... You're right. Seems like you're keeping things to... A little, yeah. 
Do you know anything more about this guy? I have an unsettling feeling about him. What do you mean, babe? I don't know. It's like he cares too much. Lily? Okay. <laughs> so much like someone's being kind, and you're just looking for some hidden meaning. That's not it. There's more to him. Is there, is there anything else you know? Tim didn't tell me anything else, but I remember how he didn't come to the rehearsals. He okay. was looking at foot photos on his phone all day long. <sighs> Listen, the most important thing is that he's changed. We're talking about I like that Tim. idea. And we're supposed I, I really don't. I searched online about him, and apart from the drama concerning his unorthodox methods, I could only find Doreen out that he's the grandson. A professor of psychology and philosophy. Hmm. I know. I've read a few conspiracy theories about her. Parapsychology, esoteric. But what do we oh, care damn. about? Oh, late... damn. How do you know about all this? Did you read about Austerlitz before? I found fuck all. I'm still looking for solid. I I'm sorry. I don't know anything else. You're getting too worked up about that. Everything's. Yeah, I guess you're right. And how are you doing? At rehearsal, Steve was a bit out of tempo, but... A lousy bass player. Well, that... Since he's in the band already, it would be harsh to just let him go. Make him work you're on it? Steve guy, don't... Duh, you're so dumb. But maybe I should consider him as an option. Maybe he wouldn't beat me. Jesus! Hey, stop joking around about that. All right, well, sorry for trying to lighten up the mood. Let's get back to what's going on with you. All right. I'm exhausted. I spent way too much time wandering around this. I time. did. I was very bad I was at this. I just to let you know that the meeting was postponed. And, uh... What? We talked on the phone earlier. He sounded like he would do anything to meet... Victor? Maybe. Or maybe it's intuition. You're really not gonna go, are you? I, I thought you were doing this. I know, Lily. I know. I have to sort this out. But this mu Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Look. But if I get up in the morning and leave this fucking town... Come on. What should I tell you? I can't force you to do anything. Oh, damn, dude. I love you for that. Wait. Oh, sounds serious. Let me tell real funny. No, I, I just wanted to spend I love you a lot. Good night, love. Oh, no. So that is not one of the clowns I can pick up. It's just a clown who has no arms. Huh. Maybe he's not technically a clown. It's hard to say. Wait, earlier I was finally able to open this drawer with a... Oh, that's so weird. I can only do drawers with the mouse. Except for one time. Uh, I knocked something over there. Alright, I think we're done with the clowns for today. I will check the tables and chairs just to be safe. There was uh, some, were some cleverly hidden things in uh, crimson so you know no harm in checking there's actually a lot of harm in checking you know sometimes you open the wrong door and there is a murderer oh look i've got a old tiny lamp just like in horror games it is a horror game hover oh right so i'm in 203 hey why is there a pad 207 why is there a padlock on the outside of the door? Historical reconstruction of a hotel from the mid 20th century. Huh. Actually, it's more like a reconstruction of a dump. Okay. Hey, how'd they get that luggage cart up here? Is there a an elevator I don't know about? It's the carpeting from The Shining. Oh yeah, so I'm back to not being able to open these. Well, uh, whatever. I got a mouse here. One of these might have a clown in it. You can't be too careful. I mean, you can be too careful. I'm being too careful. But, you know. It's nice to pretend you can't be too careful. Can I have some water? I cannot have some water. But I'm thirsty. It's been a long drive. Just a long day overall. Nope. Hey. 108. That's through 207. But what if... Yeah, I didn't think so. Still no harm in checking. Lots of photos of that doctor. Big Doc is watching me. 
Get it? It's a Big Brother is watching you reference. It's clever. The room is on the top floor. I'm sure you can find it. Hey, there's something wrong with Danny. Like, really wrong. Okay, we have some whipping. Which you know. Hey, it's a Rubik Cube! That was a cube invented by one John Rubik. His name was not John. Or he's not John. Don't know if he's still alive or not. Okay. We've got regular sex. We've got whipping themed sex. Star Hotel. Yeah, if you're a cockroach. Multiple ladies. Somebody weeping, that's less good. I thought the candle meant you wanted people to come in. Do not disturb on one side, candle on the other. Hmm. I might have misunderstood the traditions of this town. Or maybe I understood them too well. It was a very dumb thing for you to say, Hoguru. Yes, it was. Thank you for noticing. Room 207. I actually kind of like all the dust and old stuff, but this is too much, even for me. Oh, I'm dead tired. I'm glad there's an alarm clock, because there is no way I'd be getting up in the morning without it. Big Doc will be watching me even while I sleep. Great. That is unbelievably creepy. So where's all the wind sound coming from? Damn! That's cold. Almost we got it that time. Nope. Not gonna check under the bed just to be safe. Check the drawers. Nope, nothing there. Alright. We've failed in our quest to find clowns. Uh, six should be fine. I have a feeling we're going to be taken to a nightmare dimension of pornography and demons. Although that's only because I've played the game before now. No, I was wrong. We just woke up. He's still in his clothes, which, dude... Huh? Interesting choice. I actually don't know what that was. Sleep to you? Oh, apologies. You must have been woken up by the noises. The people of Bleakmoor are quite loud during the festival. Some. Ah, uh, that's all right. I was just a little spooked. Everything is all right. You can go back to one, two, three. Something deeply wrong with that guy. Do you know how I know? Why are you singing about murder? And why are you working without a lamp of your own almost in the complete darkness? Alright. 
This time I didn't walk any of the broken glass in the hopes of this town's making light. Why didn't you lock the back to bed? If someone wakes me up again, I I won't do anything either. Waka waka. Why wasn't the door already locked? Here we go. This is what I've been waiting for, folks. Come on. Hi, horrible suction device. It was trying to drain my sexual energy. And there was nothing inside. But that will probably not be the only time we have to do that. We got info coming our way. Okay. And the big one. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh good, a bunch of Lovecraft nonsense. Exactly what I was hoping to run into here. I mean sarcastic, of course. That door already has the keystone in it. That's a nice change. So that's the statue that looks like a bent over naked woman. I see. Huh. Well, she's been uh, desiccated. I don't have the lamp in here in case you're wondering. Oh, my kingdom for a lamp. Be hilarious if there was a clown statue down here, but that is not likely. Alright, what have we here? Hey, it's the hallway from that last stream. Remember when I got clubbed by the dude? They actually letting me get closer this time? I didn't think so. Hey, statue that looks like a person. What's your deal? You're not real, right? No. No, it's cool. Okay. This is all deeply upsetting. Oh, good. We're at a mystery square. Okay. Alright, what do we have here? I'm gonna make sure we can't run away from her. The horrible sound is louder here. But no. There's no escaping her. Come with us. You'll be safe. You say that, but I don't know that's the case. Take her the way you'd love to. 
What is wrong with this place? Yeah, maybe not just this second. Remember how I'm here to Anything get cured? Why don't you enjoy yourself a little? Nobody will judge you. Huh. I, I feel like I'm going to get judged. Self-control is just so important these days. What? Victor? This is what a real nightmare feels like, Paul. No. No, I can't wait to show you. What's going on? Oh, God. The window. The window. I'm working on it. It's a reference to the shadow over Innsmouth. There's a part when he goes to a hotel and then he gets chased out of the hotel by uh, Deep Ones. Can't uh, go that way, can I? Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to go into another uh, hotel room. Yep. I've got to escape from the lobby. Fuck. What did I get myself into? Hey. What's that guy's deal? I was going to say he's the, the executioner from uh, Scarlet, but no, that was a bigger dude. Stay off the broken glass, Hoguru. Save Who's yourself. this? It's too late for me. Done and done. Okay. Let's be super careful. We'll fix that. Tell me more. Okay. Closed. Um, reception. Maybe I'll find the key there. Careful. It's just so important to lock your doors, peeps. Okay, here we go. Oh, a note. It seems like room 101 is the only way out. I just need to do something about the fucking padlock first. Okay. Oh, no. We left the tools in 108, everybody. Was I hoping there would be a gun in here? Yes. Did I think there would be a gun in there? No. 108? All right. Okay. Hey, you know what would be a good thing to take now? Some sedatives. Just had one, huh? So that guy's so amped up on violence that he wants to beat me to death. But he knows the doctor will punish him. Huh. I don't see him. Do you see any movement at all? 
Wait, you're in the future. You can't help me. This isn't a stream. Well, at least they're open about what they want. I can't read that number. 107. Which makes the next door 108. I honestly can't tell what... Okay. No, I want... Oh. Sorry, I still had the key to my room. Pry bar or bolt cutters? Bolt cutters. Good. This will cut through the padlock. That's right. I got the uh, help of one agent bolt cutters on my side. Jesus. Academy? Well, that'll cool me down. Or maybe it's for knocking out a henchman? Let's see. Four points of mental health. Nice. Wait until I'm in real trouble, then I'll take that one. So we need to get to room 101, deal with the padlock situation. Why did I look at that? So someone has murdered the F out of this woman. I've made some mistakes in my day. So if I get to zero sanity, it's all over, right? Because I'm at like two. But I can restore four with that ketamine, so. Uh, the old HP Lovecraft rule that if you do enough drugs, monsters from beyond aren't that bad. Whew. So I'll be very careful, shall we? Wow. This guy's got problems. At least we found out what this padlock was about. Lock, 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 lock. Oh, thank you. Damn. Well, I cannot wait to play more of this. Whew. I wonder if it's going to pick me up uh, exactly where I left off or if I have to restart the game. I guess we'll see. Damn, though. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time, if you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnot, it's going to come in the comments section below the video. We'll see you back here for the full game when it's done, but until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.